I know this is the sort of video that I said that I'd upload on the second channel, but this is really actually a big deal now. It's officially here. This house is actually mine, and that is making me cringe as much as it's making you cringe. But I have to install those LEDs on the back that Parts Express sent me. And I know you're also thinking, gee, this microphone sounds really bad compared to normal. And that's because I currently only know where the camera is. So I have to go and find you know, all this stuff somewhere. There's a box that has my Rode mic in it. I've got shit speaker going. This thing has been incredible throughout this whole build. You can see it has been getting plenty of abuse. I know someone asked me where this was the other day. I took the passive radiators out because it did actually make such a bad improvement, if that's a thing. It made it worse, lots worse. And with that blocked back off, it's better again. So. I've got to start opening all these boxes. <laughs> There's so many, I've got to sort through them, I've got to find the mic, get the mic on so my voice is so much better. Let's get started. It's officially here, it's officially happening. And I'm going to start, I think it's like one of these little boxes that has my um, microphone in it. So let's find that now. And hey, I did say that videos on this channel would include a subwoofer, and there it is. There are the, the date and subs, the other ones over there, and then the the home, the studio monitors there, and the so in Vegas are there, and my gaming PC is there. It's yeah. Oh wait, there's an Ultimax box. So there's speakers in this video, and there will be. But I just thought I'm. I mean, right now I'm quite pumped. So this is literally just going to be like this. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but tonight is the official first night. It's Thursday right now. So I'm going to use these scissors, and we're going to go around and open some boxes. And I'm just gonna literally make a video about the whole thing. This might be 30 minutes long, this might be 10 minutes long, however it edits out. But I just wanna make sure everyone's aware. I know a lot of people don't follow my second channel and if you aren't, I highly suggest that I just post like updates and things on there. It's a bit more like this style. But with that being said, best term out there. What I'm gonna start doing now is unboxing this stuff. I'm just gonna film as I go and it's gonna be epic. So. Let's get started and let's find this mic so you can finally have your ears stop hurting. And I obviously need to set the computer up. And I talk a lot by the way and that's just going to be the way that it is for this video. I need to set that up so I can actually edit this video because currently I can't edit the video. <laughs> and I don't have internet here for a while as it seems at the moment. So anyway, I better stop talking. Let's find the mic. Okay, so I found the mic. How much better does that sound? It was in the second box opened and you'd think I only packed this yesterday and I still can't remember which, which box I put things in. <sighs> I'm debating whether or not I do one by one boxes and then put things away. I've got so much stuff that I just need to get rid of. I think I need to start with a bigger box, so maybe that one just there. Empty that right out and then turn that into a rubbish bin. Throw stuff in it as I go. Yeah, that's the best idea I've had so far. Let's 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 do that. I have actually already started a bit too. So like the drawers here that have all like my cables and stuff, the basic set of tools that I just keep in my bedroom. It's very, very basic, but I like it. I forgot I had these speakers, camera boxes, all this sort of just random stuff. I've already started unpacking and it took me the best part of three or four hours. So yeah, this is gonna, oh God. Such a big job doing this stuff and I've opened up this box here and it's full of my old gaming gear I made the switch to Corsair. I know there's gonna be a few people in the comments that are gonna hate me for that And then there's gonna be a heap more that love me for it, but I've switched from 2013 Razer stuff to the modern new Corsair, I think that's the K70 V2 and this is the uh, it doesn't have it on it. It starts with S. It's I'm not gonna even try to pronounce it. I know how it's anyway. Plant, change of heart. Uh, I'm gonna put the TV on the wall first because that's gonna free up a lot of real estate, which is gonna make it easier for me to unpack boxes. So I'm gonna get that up on the wall. I gotta put USBs on it. Plug a USB in the back. I mean, have HDMI in the back. Plug power into it and the Chromecast, which is just there. How convenient. All right, and here we are with my super neat wiring job. I'm actually kind of happy with how this turned out. USB on the back of the TV, so the LEDs come on when the TV comes on. It goes into its little transformer thing, which is stuck in in this recessed part of the TV, so it won't possibly hang out. It's then stuck down the tire with a, a cable thingy that came with the LED strips, which are actually really useful. It comes with everything you need. Bang onto here, LED strip. I never trust the glue on these, but these ones felt 
unbelievably strong. Comes up here through the wire. Again, wire's stuck down there, comes down. Super sticky, comes up, stuck down again, down. And yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. Also, I didn't ever really take notice of it, but there's speakers in this TV, right? There's a tweeter down here, like a, a one inch by two inch little speaker that faces down, which is your highs. And then it's got four two inch woofers on the back. Pretty neat. Heist 65 inch 4K TV. So I'm gonna grab, as soon as I can't plug the TV in because the wires already ran up through the wall to get up here to make it perfectly invisible. I'm gonna grab a power bank, plug that in, just double check all the LEDs are working. And then I'm gonna hang this TV on the wall and we'll boot it up and we'll see how freaking sexy this is going to look. All right, moment of truth, do the LEDs work? Oh, yes, they do. I've got a battery bank just hooked up, as I said. Let's see, red, green, blue, yellow, orange. It's a cyan, purple. Yes, this is gonna be sick. And I can adjust the brightness of them too, so I can turn them down, turn them up. I'm now gonna go and get someone to help me lift this TV up on the wall. I'm gonna turn it on and we're just gonna see what this looks like. I cannot be more excited to see this just chilling up on the wall there. None of that you'll be able to see. All of the wires come down there and they'll hide out the bottom there which will be covered by an amp rack. So it'll literally look like the TV is just floating there. This, oh, this is gonna look sick. So ignore the weak signal thing because there's nothing plugged into the end of that HDMI cable. But if I turn the lights off and close the blinds, we can see that the LEDs behind the TV are there and they look pretty damn sick. Uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome to be able to experience this. Obviously, it's gonna get very dark in here. My camera's gonna compensate for that and the image quality is just gonna go downhill. But I can change the colors of the lights with this remote here. It's pretty sick. Camera's struggling to focus. It's really dark in this room now. And uh, yeah. How awesome is that? LED strips behind that. I can turn them off when I'm watching movies or I can have them on when I'm just leaving the room looking epic like so. So I'm gonna open the blinds back up. I'm gonna turn the lights back on. And before you know it, the room is really bright again and it's perfect for the camera. So there we are with the TV on the wall. Now I've got a shitload more space just there. And I am going to start unboxing a million boxes that I have in here. <laughs> You never realize how big, a ha uh, how big a job it is moving house until you do it twice. And now I'm really starting to get impatient. Oh, why do I have so many leads? Oh, I'm gonna have to sort through all this. So with the subs there, you start to get a little bit more of a different perspective of what this TV is gonna look like. And well, it's probably pretty obvious on the camera. It's definitely obvious in person. This flat mount uh, for the wall here uh, leans back a bit with this TV, so I'm gonna have to get not such a flat mount uh, for the TV there, the actual wall mount itself, so I can have some adjustment, so I can face it down towards the couch, because the TV as is is already a little bit high, and then you angle it backwards, and it just looks a bit silly from the couch, so that's one more thing I'm gonna have to do, but uh, let's, let's actually start unpacking now. So I just recorded the last few videos with the microphone off, I'm such an idiot. But it's now nighttime, I've got the windows closed, and as we can see, the lights on the roof actually are doing a pretty good job lighting the room. The ISO is just dangerously high, a little bit higher than I'd like it. But I'll let you know, I'll let you let, you let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Uh, does it look bad because I'm pushing the ISO limit on my camera just a little bit more than I normally do? But I've come to the conclusion that pulling everything out of the boxes will make it much more... Uh, I don't even know how I would say it, but I think I feel like it will make me put things away quicker with it all out here instead of just doing box by box. So I've now got everything out of those boxes. That box there is now a bin. And uh, what I'm going to do is keep doing what I'm doing. Eventually, I do have a desk, but I just couldn't get it in the room while all this stuff was in here. I'll be putting the temporary desk that isn't the custom built one over there. And then I'll put two monitors on it because I don't have the wall mounts yet and then I'll be able to actually hook the computer up and play games again with the uh, internet that I don't have, which is really unfortunate, but yeah. Well, I am gonna continue doing what I'm doing, which is <sighs> lots of fun. All right, so there we are. I'm calling it quits for the night. It's currently about a quarter past 11, and wow, I've been doing this since about four o'clock, and I get very distracted very easily 
But I think I've made a fair bit of progress considering that this room is nearly done. My bedroom eh, it has a little bit of work to do in it, but it shouldn't take too long. Same with the bathroom. This room is where most of the work was, where I've got to put stuff away. And then getting onto the garage is going to take me legitimately forever. And I will not film that. I just wanted to film this one because this is what the channel is going to be all about. And uh, I can finally access a wide angle lens. So let me stick that on. It'll be a little bit worse in low light. The quality of the video is gonna get worse, but let me just stick this wide angle lens on so you can really capture the size of this room. It's a lot bigger than the old one. So there we are with a really wide view of the room with the wide angle lens. And you can see that the room is actually quite big. Once this thing's fully set up though, it's gonna be awesome. You can see where we're going though. We've got TV on the walls, subs on the ground, the amp rack will go there, the computer setup will go all the way across there, the monitors will be floating, the couch is back here, I've got to put shelves on the walls there that'll have all my camera gear to show all that stuff off. Uh, we've got a wall mount rear speaker, there's so much to do. It's gonna be awesome once it's done though. But yeah, I'm gonna call it quits for the night. It's quarter past 11. I'm hanging out to try out this new shower for the first time ever. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to be grinding it all day, packing all the rest of this stuff into its positions and where it's gonna stay for hopefully quite a long period of time. Now, one thing I noticed that was very funny, this paint was the same that was on the doors at the old place, uh, sorry, around the skirting boards at the old place. And anywhere that wasn't exposed to light would start to yellow after time. It was really quite weird, but it's really funny here because you can see the top of this sub right here has this pattern on it, which is a not, well, you can't actually see it on video, but it's got this non-stick mark pattern. And that was the bottom sub in the room. You remember how in the old place they were stacked on top of each other. That was the old sub that was on the bottom where it was in darkness. And from not necessarily on camera, maybe it is, that sub is particularly yellow in comparison to that one. That's sort of like a whitey, tanny, yellowy color. And that is like proper faded yellow. It looks really bad. Uh, so I'm either going to have to repaint these subs or replace them ASAP. Parts Express, please get involved. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow once I've got some sleep because I'm really tired. I want to go hang out. I'm really, I, oh, I want to go check out this new shower to be honest. So, yeah. So it's been about 12 hours since I last filmed and you can see this right here. This box is my bin box and it's basically almost full. I've been really optimistic with what I'm throwing out. And if I don't think I need it, then I'll get rid of it. For example, this right here is a power board which has no circuit breaker in it. And I replaced all the wiring with the 16 gauge wire. I, yeah, I used that because the CV2800s kept tripping the breaker in the power boards. So I used that one instead so I could get more current through it. And uh, yeah, don't, definitely don't do that. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a bunch of stuff that I just never ever use. And one thing that's really standing out to me now is that the LED strips that I had a lot of faith in actually don't stick as well as I thought they did. And they've come off the TV. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see it, but trust me when I say that they're, they're legit right there. Hang on, there. You can see it just there. It's not on the back of the TV anymore. So I'm gonna have to remove the TV, get the hot glue gun, which is right there, and uh, glue them down to the TV, which I didn't really wanna do, but I'm really left with no other choice. Other than that though, far out, you got no idea the amount of work. Even like the cupboard back here, I spent a lot of time in here organizing. You can see, I, I love to keep these like areas really neat and clean so I know where everything is, but I've been going through them one by one. I'm sorry for the really dark lighting here. Let me try and boost the ISO up for you. Um, I've been really, really trying to like, so this is all auxiliaries, RCAs and USB stuff. You come down and this drawer here is internet, uh, HDMI, DVI is all here, power supplies are over here. You come down to this one here and that's all speaker wire, that's all XLRs, that's all actual power cables. So I've been trying to keep it relatively neat as I go, but uh, yeah, looks like I'm going to have to fasten that back down again. I am, could not be more pumped to get this PC set back up because I really want to get back on that thing and start doing fun stuff. But uh, unfortunately I don't have internet anyway. So that sucks, but shit speaker, man. I forget how good this thing is. Like it's just chilling over here in the corner. You can see really now some of the destruction on the back of this speaker. Uh, but sitting in the corner, the bass response is impressively good. 
but uh yeah it's still still got plenty of stuff i gotta sort out it's yeah, we're getting there but not very quick and this is one room of about 20 so <laughs> yeah next two days weekend i will be doing this as well all right so i've now got the floor basically clean and ignore the non-symmetrical carpet stripes normally if i was shooting like a normal video I would definitely make them symmetrical, but the fact is that this is just a random video and I really just wanted to clean the carpet. I've got the hot glue gun there. I've got to put the LED strips on that TV. TV remotes, LED strip remote. Heater over there because we turned the heater off last night and then it got cold in here while I was still doing stuff. So I turned that one back on. <sighs> got to build something for the amp racks. I'm not running a center channel this time because center channels, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of center channels. I'd just rather left and right, front and rear. The subs will probably go closer to the underneath the TV once the air is established and how I'm going to do that. Not too sure yet what my plans are for that, how I'm going to do it, but it's still going to look pretty nice. Desk over here, this is the stuff off the floor. I just really wanted to vacuum the floor because it was getting very dirty. Um, this is the remainder of the stuff that was on the floor. It shouldn't take me long at all to put away. You can see there I've got the pendant light hanging down from the roof looking on the desk. You can see what that looks like. Of course, just like the non-existent amp rack and subs and speakers, this desk is not staying at all either. I'm going to get a desk. This is 2100 millimeter space. Uh, I'm going to get a desk that's 2100 millimeters and it's going to be 750 deep. I was originally going 900 but considering how much the desk already sort of pokes out past here and the fact that now that the monitors will be mounted on the walls, I don't actually need that desk space. Uh, it actually puts me too far away from the monitors when I'm playing games uh, because being like a meter away from a 24 inch monitor, it's really hard to see uh, targets when you're shooting. But uh, nevertheless, I'm now gonna set my computer up. I still don't have internet, so, and that doesn't have Wi-Fi, so I can't even hotspot my phone to it. The 4G service up here is absolutely ridiculous and if the MBN internet, which is what we have here in Australia, is anything like what I'm getting on 4G, I'll be extremely happy because it's at least double what I used to have. I'm getting about 100 megabytes down and about 50 megabytes up constantly on 4G on my phone where I'm currently standing in my room, not even outside on the top of the hill, uh, actually in my room physically right now. I could run a speed test for you in which I might actually do so right now. So while I get that up, I'll just continue talking. So I'm gonna build a 2100 mil desk uh, that'll have a white top and I'll build all the base myself because well, it doesn't matter what I do or whose desk I look at, no one ever has it exactly how I want it. So I'm going to be building everything myself. That way I can tell that it is exactly how I want it set up. I wanna be able to build a little stand over there for my desk, uh, sorry, for my um, PC so the wires run behind it. I want this little back section here to extend to the floor so I can hide the sub in there and all of the wires. And uh, yeah, well, here's the, the download speed, constant, straight up there, back up the 90s. Um, I want to see it push 100. If it pushes 100, I'll be happy. Maybe not. All right, 94. Damn, how bad? 94 megabytes a second download. That is unheard of at the moment. But yeah, another little talking section. I'm going to try and set this. I'll get rid of this stuff. Set up two monitors. This desk isn't long enough for three. I've got to get the wall mounts over there. Change the LEDs in the pendant. Fix the LEDs behind the TV. Mount the things on the wall there, build rear speakers, build front speakers, build subwoofers, build amp rack, build desk. Whew. Yeah, it's exciting though. I'm really pumped.